Hi, I'm Scott Jacobson, Director of Verification IP Product Marketing here at Cadence, and today we're going to talk about a new subject in Verification IP. That subject is Bluetooth Verification IP for 5.0. This is a new Verification IP product for us. We're first to market in uh, introducing Verification IP for Bluetooth. And uh, what I'd like to talk to you about is a little bit about what Bluetooth 5.0 is going to be bringing. It's the latest standard from the Bluetooth SIG, um, and parts of it are rolling out later this year, and parts are rolling out early next year. You know, um, let's start with some of the issues or some of the improvements in Bluetooth 5.0 in the mobile space um, that will really enhance um, people's lives, uh, both for individuals as well as retail as well as office environments. One of the biggest changes in Bluetooth 5.0 is the addition of mesh. Um, if you've ever used Bluetooth, you know, Bluetooth has been around, um, as, as long as it's been around, it's always been a point-to-point -point connection. You know, if you have a Bluetooth device and you want to um, play your audio on another speaker or whatever, you have to do this pairing, and so it's kind of a point-to-point-to-point -to -point -to -point kind of a thing, right? Every time you want to add a new device, so hopefully if you put two headphones on the same phone or, or pair them to the same phone, they'll both work. Uh, but sometimes they don't because they don't cooperate. So mesh is really, a, a, a evolution of Bluetooth to address it uh, more of what the Internet of Things is doing as far as populating every environment with many more devices. Mesh is an architecture where all of the Bluetooth devices in a mesh register to the net, to that mesh, and then they're all available to each other. So a phone could be part of a mesh, and then um, there could be multiple speakers that are also part of the mesh, and you don't have to pair to every speaker um, with your phone in order to play there. You could actually play audio to one speaker and move through the mesh to another part of a building or another part of your house, and it automatically know that there's another speaker available there. You've already uh, um, attached to it through the mesh, and you know, it's very transparent. It's very transparent and it's very ubiquitous, so you don't have to worry about this point-to-point -point connections anymore. This is going to be a big improvement in Bluetooth. Um, other thing would be like uh, sharing printers in an office environment where you've got Bluetooth enabled printers. So as you walk through the Bluetooth mesh, all those printers become available as local resources for you. So the second major part of Bluetooth VIP introduction is enhanced beaconing. Beaconing is a system whereby you have a beacon transmitter that enables personal delivery of targeted information in a very short range. One of the areas where beaconing can be used is an industrial area in asset tracking. So if you have packages going by a beacon and those packages have an ID tag on them, the beacon can actually give you a real-time update through a very short-range connection to that the asset tracking. So you can have asset tracking. Another would be a retail outlet where you're maybe selling shoes and you want to bring people to the shoe department where you have a beacon in the shoe department. As shoppers go by, if their profile says they like shoes, they'll get an ad that says, hey, this week we're doing uh, sales on Nike tennis shoes. If you like Nike tennis shoes, come by and buy a pair. You know, uh, we're located over here in the shoe department. We'll see you then, right? So this has a lot, also airport navigation, where you have uh, people going through an airport and they maybe have a profile that they're maybe going on United flights or whatever. So a beacon could be set up and say, hey, if you're going on a United flight, we're just passed by a beacon. If you're going on a United flight, well, follow, go this way because your, your next flight is kind of that direction. And so it assists people with personalized information, very short range, very targeted toward uh, what they're doing. Uh, beaconing has been part of Bluetooth before, but there's major enhancements in the data capacity and the bandwidth of Bluetooth 5.0 beaconing support. The other part of Bluetooth that's coming along is greater connectivity. Um, greater connectivity is really being driven uh, by um, a competition in the space uh, for short-range wireless connections. So Bluetooth is developing um, technology for a longer range. Um, so that, you know, if, you, if you're in a house and you're in the living room and your bedroom is two walls and a couple of doors away from where you're um, at with your speakers, um, you know, it's been, sometimes it can be a challenge to get through that kind of an of a, uh, environment um, with current Bluetooth. Well, 5.0 gives a longer range support. In addition to longer range, Bluetooth 5.0 also introduces speed improvements. The, uh, the anticipated improvements in speed are two times the speed of the current Bluetooth and 4x the longer range. And the beaconing support on, date, on bandwidth improvements here um, is actually um, targeted to be 8x improvements in bandwidth for beaconing. 
So with all of that going on, Bluetooth is really entering the space of the IoT world, evolving and maturing and, and um, improving itself in ways to help you be, be more ubiquitous in your life and provide more value. If you want more information on verification IP products for Bluetooth 5.0, visit www.cadence.com, look for the IP section, find verification IP, and you'll see you there. Thanks. Thanks.